Wayne White is a Tennessee-born artist, illustrator, puppeteer, filmmaker, and more. He's used his Tennessee influences over the years to create award-winning television shows, music videos, and now fine art. Well, he came back home to Chattanooga recently to create what he calls a history fun house. The real name is Wayne Arama, and here's what you can expect on a visit. I was drawing really early. My mother always says he could draw before he could walk. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but it makes a good sound bite. Welcome to Wayne Arama, a wild fun house of Chattanooga history and folklore. The latest creation of a locally raised, nationally celebrated artist, Wayne White. Basically, this is just my childhood, you know. This is like the thrill of building a shoebox diorama on a gigantic scale. You know, the thrill of dreaming about Chattanooga history and the Civil War and the past, which I loved too as a kid. After graduating from Middle Tennessee State University, Wayne went to New York to work as an illustrator. All aboard! But his first big break was back in Tennessee, a project for Nashville's public television station. It was Mrs. Kebabble's Caboose. That was my first big job in television. That's how I got started in set design and puppet design and TV. We're saying hello to new friends. Well, that sounds good to me. <laughs> then I went back to New York with my Mrs. Kebabble's Caboose portfolio, and that's how I got the Pee Wee job. Pee Wee's Playhouse was a groundbreaking kids show that landed Wayne three Emmy Awards for his set design and puppetry. It was like a uh, downtown New York City art project that just happened to get on national TV, and that rarely happens, you know. And it was such a, uh, a, a it was really a magic thing. That series led to work on other shows and award-winning music videos. <laughs> In recent years, Wayne has turned his attention back to painting. Not your customary genre of works, though. They're creations he calls word paintings. So I started putting words in landscapes. And the extra twist on that is I would put them in found landscapes and cheap la uh, landscape reproductions I'd find in thrift stores and stuff. And the combination really sparks something, and suddenly, uh, after all those years working as a commercial artist in Hollywood, I was in the art world. His current passion is also creating on-site interactive exhibits, well, like wayne -orama. And this one's personal. It's a playfully vivid tribute to his hometown heritage. I'd say it's more fun to climb. The centerpiece is a colossal nod to local tourism. I call this the Magic Mountain. This is Lookout Mountain, of course, the famous Lookout Mountain that towers over Chattanooga and one of, the, uh, one of the big attractions of Chattanooga. You know, I grew up with all the great tourist attractions of Rock City, Ruby Falls, the Incline, Confederama. That's where the name comes from, Lanerama, Confederama. And the, the tourist attraction was my first idea of art as a kid. Wayne's love of history is reflected in this gallery of giant puppet heads he made of prominent individuals from Chattanooga's past. Everybody's heard of Sequoia. Everything in America is named after Sequoia, from the national forest to the local caves here and whatnot. This is the great the chief dragging canoe, who is one of the last defiant great Cherokee war chiefs. Well, the inspiration for Wayne Arama came from the self-described warped mind of the artist. Helping hands came from supporters both near and far. And we had the, the best local talent from all over Chattanooga. We had uh, from Nashville, from Atlanta, from Birmingham. All my fellow weirdos came and we congregated and we, and we built things, you know. It was fun. Wayne hopes the exhibit encourages kids to embrace history and to explore their own sense of creativity. It's really hard sometimes to get kids interested in history because it's so boring in school for many of them. But it shouldn't be boring at all, you know. It's just great stories and it's people. We have all kinds of materials, but some of the material is, is very plain everyday stuff like cardboard and, and plywood and things. It's stuff that you can do in your garage, you know, or in your backyard. I hope that inspires kids too to know that, you know, you can make art out of anything. Wayne White is a true Southern artist with talent, 
an imagination beyond classification. His home may be Los Angeles, but his heart is deep-rooted in Chattanooga, now home of Wayne White's most personal work. I'm the luckiest guy ever as far as art goes, being an artist, being able to build something like this, have the support I have, having my own little art clubhouse, you know. I love it. I think it's, I think it came out beautiful. Mm -hmm.